Welcome to Bridge North Ontario. Sitting on the eastern shore of Lake Shimong, this small community is home to a family who've been experiencing some disturbing events. I was coming from our rec room to come up the stairs here and I got to about the second last step and I just felt this enormous pressure on my back. I felt, literally felt two hands push me forward and I went forward so hard that I actually hit my head off the kitchen door. My heart was ready to beat right out of my chest. The rescue mediums are on their way to investigate. <laughs> and as usual, their mode of transport is somewhat irregular. It's a police car. It's a matter of the Jackie and Christine have gained a reputation as psychics who travel the world investigating paranormal activity. Do you have many bad boys in the back of this car? Lots of bad boys back oh. there. They come at the wrong time then. Yeah. <laughs> Where are they? I was sitting on the couch watching television and I noticed this ball of light. And it just gently drifted right across from the TV screen and went right up into the ceiling and disappeared. The rescue mediums have been given no prior knowledge of their destination. You really couldn't get out of here, could you, Lord? No! <laughs> Even the name of this seemingly tranquil town has been kept secret. However, days earlier, they claim to have had some premonitions. And this is like a, a traumatic event. Oh, Something yes, very know. traumatic that's happened either in the area or to the family. Justin. I was asleep and the alarm went off. I sort of just rolled back over and I just heard, hello. You know, like I was to almost to that point where I answered back, like that's how real it was. Dark shadow of a figure. I think it's a man and he stands very still. After we had first moved in, we'd been here about six days, the hallway light upstairs started flickering on and off. I immediately felt overwhelmed. I, I felt really uneasy, so I picked up the phone right away. And it was just pure static. Lights flickering, lights moving, lights going on and off. To support their claims, Jackie and Christine have created what they call psychic drawings. And this is the view from someone's place, or you would be able to stand outside and see this view. How lovely. With their research in hand, Jackie and Christine are escorted to the troubled residence, where the homeowners eagerly await their arrival. I'm really hoping that Jackie and Christine will be able to help the people that I feel are lost or come in visitation here because they have nowhere to go. I hope that they can guide them to a better place and hopefully allow me to get some nights with sleep. Well, <laughs> See ya! Bye. Bye! If something is here or a spirit is here, I know that it will make my wife a lot more comfortable, make me a lot more comfortable once it's resolved. Hello! Hello! How are you? Hello! This is the first time the rescue mediums have met or visited the home of Justin and Nicole. Nice to meet you. Welcome to our house. Lovely. Before they take a journey around the house, Jackie and Christine want to discuss their apparent premonitions. Have you experienced poltergeist activity? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, a traumatic event with the area or with the family? With the area. Okay, don't tell us any more mm -hmm. on that just now. Justin. Mm. That's, too <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> Chandeliers or lights flickering, moving moving about, um, lights going on and off. I've got an obsession with lights. A dark shadow of a figure. Mm. I think it's a man. Uh, also, a young, fair girl or woman. But once when she was in bed, a voice spoke to her. She has heard bangings and noises and voices. Someone sat on her bed and she has been touched by spirit. This girl, this woman, needs help. She's open to the spirit world. <laughs> Johnson, Janssen, Johansson. You can take... Mm -hmm. Johnson. Janssen. Mm -hmm. Are you all right? Mm -hmm. 
Do you want to stop for a second? With the consultation over, the rescue mediums begin their investigation with a walkthrough of the house and its surroundings. Ooh. Oh, I'm getting down there. <laughs> Bad enough. I'm going to kneel down. Oh. Get down this way. Not very elegant, like. They feel compelled to examine the ground beneath the house. Are you feeling anything off the land? Just the vibrations. Mm. Oh. Mm. That's heating up. Can you feel it? That is going hot in my hands. Yeah. I know that feeling. We both know it. Yeah, it's underneath. It's underneath this house. The rescue mediums appear to be drawn to the mature trees on the property. It's just, it's very like those tall trees in, in you know, in the, the sketch. It's just like them, a lot of those trees around. Jackie and Christine believe there's a link to early settlers of this land. I mean, I know you're picking this up too. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a First Nations influence Absolutely. very strongly on the land. Very, very strong. I mean, I'm convinced that's what the vibrations are as well. Yeah. I wonder if there's a, uh, this is another place where there was a burial ground, though. I wonder if we could find anything out. Yeah. Because it feels like that. 